Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Dr. Noshin Afshan and you are watching Dr. Noshin Afshan YouTube. I hope that all of you would be fine and I am thankful to you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. So now let's begin. Our today's topic is the synthesis of pyridazine from 1,4-dicarbonyl compound and hydrazine as one synthetic route have been studied in the previous lecture and this second route of synthesis is being studied in this lecture. So first of all we just see its general reaction and then we will study its mechanism. So as the name indicates 1,4 dicarbonyl compound so here there are this is the two carbonyl compound have been attached with one and carbon number four. So owing to this reason that the carbon number one and carbon number four is being attached with two carbonyl compounds one on each. So this is called as one four dicarbonyl compound and there are two alkyl groups have been attached the one is R and the other one is R prime these alkyl groups may be either identical or different and you may also indicate these alkyl groups as R1 or R2 but I have indicated them as R and R prime when it reacts with hydrazine and after condensation of these carbonyl compounds with these hydrogens it would eliminate water molecules and in the next step the compound would be aromatized to form our final product that is pyridazine derivative and here there would be two alkyl groups being attached with this compound so this compound or this our final product is called as pyridazine or pyridazine derivative and now we see its mechanism over here. In the first step, our 1,4 dicarbonyl compound is here. and it reacts with a proton where the lone pair on this oxygen attacks on this proton and it gets O attached with one hydrogen as this oxygen is forming three bonds so that is why one hydrogen uh, one positive charge would come over it in the next step this bond would be shifted to this oxygen and our resultant product would be after this arrowhead it would be like this And as the number of bonds for this carbon are 3 here, so one positive charge would become on this carbon. Then the hydrazine would attack on it. As there is a lone pair on the nitrogen, it would attack on this carbon. So this hydroxyl group would become over here, R prime over here and here. This nitrogen is attached with two hydrogens and further it is attached with NH2 group. As this nitrogen 
is making four bonds so one positive charge would come over here then the lone pair on this oxygen would attract this oxygen and this bond pair would be shifted to the nitrogen and after oxygen would form three bonds two bonds with these hydrogens and one bond with carbon as this oxygen is making three bonds so that's why positive charge would be written on this oxygen after this step here the lone pair on the nitrogen would attack over would become in the form of double bond over here and this water molecule would be eliminated in the form of minus h2o here this hydrogen is this one and then further it is attached with two hydrogens and the positive charge over here so now the lone pair on this oxygen would attack on this hydrogen and this bond pair would be shifted to the nitrogen So now this oxygen is also attached with this hydrogen so a positive charge would come over this oxygen you may also write this hydrogen along this side and the positive charge would be written in this way and here there are two hydrogens been attached with this now this bond pair would be shifted to the oxygen and the positive charge would be on this carbon because here it is forming only three bonds so now again as here is a lone pair on nitrogen and this would attack on this carbon that is positively charged and one lone pair of the oxygen would attract this hydrogen and this bond pair would be shifted to the nitrogen I have done it in a concerted manner you may also write down this step in two steps in the first one you may only attack abstract this hydrogen or you may only attack this uh, lone pair of the nitrogen on this carbon and in the second step this oxygen would attract this hydrogen
so in the first step only the bond new bond would be formed between this nitrogen and carbon and in the next step oxygen would attract this of hydrogen and this bond pair would be shifted towards this but i have done it in a concerted manner it is also okay as oxygen would be attached with one hydrogen and the two hydrogens that is oh2 so one positive charge would would be on this oxygen because it is forming three bonds and further it would be attached with this one hydrogen yes right So after this step, this lone pair on nitrogen would be shifted along this and this bond pair would be, would be shifted to the oxygen and it would be el eliminated in the form of H2O that is minus H2O. Here there would be a generated double bond and it is further attached with only one hydrogen in the form of positive charge on nitrogen. After this step See the one hydro as there are two hydrogens over here and also two hydrogens over here. So this may So this hydrogen would become along this side and it would be shifted on this nitrogen. Yes, here it is like this. Here there are CH2. And after this, uh, here there are two possibilities. You may tautomerize this hydrogen with this nitrogen. This bond would be shifted to this and this would be shifted to this actually this negative charge would then attract this hydrogen in the form of here one hydrogen is attached here and one hydrogen would be attached this hydrogen would be shifted to this nitrogen as a result of tautomerism the double bond here and the double bond would be along this this is the first possibility and the second possibility is that 
you may just oxidize and one hydrogen this would be eliminated or yes this would be eliminated this bond would be shifted to this this would be shifted to this and this hydrogen would be eliminated in via this route there would be two steps along this step now the oxidation would be undergone and what would happen now it would be shifted to this and this would be shifted to this so this hydrogen would be eliminated in the form of h positive and this would be eliminated in the form of h negative h positive and h negative would be formed as h2 that would be eliminated in the form of h2 and this step is called as either oxidation because hydrogen is being eliminated or it may also be termed as aromatization and the one step mechanism for these two steps is you don't shift these bonds over here you just shift this bond over here it would be shifted to this and this would be eliminated in the form of H negative this is also an oxidation or aromatization step and our final product is this one here the double bond would be generated again the double bond here and along this direct direction or this position here the H positive and H negative also would form H2 so hydrogen will also be eliminated at this step as a result of this oxidation and in this way our final product would be formed in this case the arrangement of the double bonds would be like this and as a result of this the double bond would look like this the double bond would come along between two nitrogens so there is only difference between these double bonds or you may also write this compound as this so in this way these two possibilities can be overcome so this was the mechanism for the synthesis of pyridazine thank you very much for watching the video please subscribe my channel and press bell icon Allah Hafiz